Hello, I'm Larry Culliford. I'm a psychiatrist and writer, and I'm here to interview JC Mack uh, this evening. And I'd like to start with the question, what do you understand by the words spiritual emergency? Um, spiritual emergency. A new term for me. A new term for me. Because I, I, I'd heard of the word spiritual emergence. Okay. And I thought, oh, that's a nice word, and a pretty commonly used word. But a spiritual emergency, I thought, well, I've never heard that one before. Well, let's start with spiritual emergence. What do you mean by that? What's that? Well, I, for me, it has been, um, has had a lot to do with the emerging of higher states of consciousness for people on the planet. Mm -hmm. And I think as, as the planet evolves and humanity evolves, we're all in swimming in a sea of consciousness that begins to, like a cork, rise and mm -hmm. rise and rise. So it's the emerging or the coming to age of higher levels of consciousness. Okay. And spiritual emergency is something when that goes wrong or some catastrophe of some kind? What, what's that? Um, <clears throat> For me, the emergency has been, un, you know, I've had to learn the hard way because I had, to, I had no, nobody to kind of guide me through that. But the experiences that I had left me after a while um, completely isolated, mm -hmm. completely feeling alone, um, completely mad in, my, in, in what was left of the noise in my head. And, um, and at the same time, there was this beautiful peace and stillness that had been with me for a while in the background. And so I think it was the, the integration of these, of the mind with the spirit. Okay. But as a psychiatrist, I won't have been trained to deal with what you're describing. Do you th have you got a message for psychiatry, for psych people in the mental health care professions? Yes. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? right? So, but for me, it's how you contextualize something. Am I having a, uh, a spiritual experience or am I having a mental breakdown? Right. Is it a psychiatric medical problem or is it a spiritual problem? Yes. One of the things I realized after the years I had spent seeking spiritual experiences was that when something happened, the solution I knew was going to be spiritual. Uh -huh. And at the same time, I was having mental problems. Mental and emotional problems, like a mental and emotional immaturity to deal with the experience. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I think how you contextualize those things, Larry, has an awful lot to do with the direction you take in integrating them. Right, but from the perspective of a psychiatrist who might have come across you at that time, supposing someone had uh, advised you to see your doctor and your doctor had advised you to see a psychiatrist, what would he have said? You've got depression, I want you to take these pills. Yes. How would you explain or want to explain to a, a mental health worker that actually there's something more going on here? Yes. Well, I had that experience. I did yeah. go to the doctor right. at one point, and he did write me a script. And, right. and, and, um, and I couldn't articulate what had happened at the time. I, and I was frightened. And, um, and I started thinking, maybe it is that. Yes. So it was very confusing, and it, you know, on the other side of it now, I can see that I would like to say, look, I, I think before we make a diagnosis on one thing, can we discuss other options that, of possibilities that this may be right. in terms of how you treat that? Right. And so, maybe it does need something. So you would be pleased if it became part of the routine in psychiatry for us to ask about spiritual aspects of your life. Certainly. Particularly whether you might or might not be religious in some way, but also whether what was what was the thing that gave your life its deepest meaning, your sense, a real deep sense of purpose, yes. where you felt you belonged with other people. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And and that's a great way to say it. And I know for myself that. Having worked through that, and it's taken three years to come through that, to be at peace with myself like I was when it originally happened. It, something happened, and I was at peace with myself, and then my mind kind of returned, and it was terrified and frightened and everything else, and, and then all of that started happening. And <clears throat> so working together with somebody, I think it would have been great if I could have sat down with somebody 
honestly in, in your profession and said, you know what, this is what I think has happened to me. I'm unsure, but I can report this about what's happened. And since that has happened, I've been having a lot of emotional mental problems. Okay. And do you think you might have also been happy to talk in that way with a chaplain of some kind or some kind of religious uh, leader or religious person from any particular faith? I did. The Zen, the Buddhist community. Uh-huh. You know, I started going on the internet. I started phoning uh-huh. people, talking to people, uh-huh. and uh-huh. and you know, it's like saying, "Have you? Do you know of anybody that's had this?" Okay. Because I'd like to talk to them. Right. And but most people would respond with, "Well, we've heard of that," but that's like reading, like reading the menu. Okay. Well, we're getting the sign to the, the evening's events going to have to start in a minute. <laughs> I have uh, one, uh, I did, well, it just popped out of my head. Now. I had a final question yes. I was going to just wrap up with, but it, it, uh, it's gone now, so we'll, we'll uh, have to wait for Your another time. Your mind is gone. I like that. <laughs> we'll have to-